The Prime Minister has secured a major partnership with Microsoft to bolster Australia's cyber security capabilities. Political editor Andrew Clonell is live in Washington, D.C. Andrew, take us through the announcement. Hi, Danica. Well, it's the end of the first full day of Anthony Albanese's visit to Washington. He had an announcement to come with. This uh, $5 billion Microsoft is committing to developing artificial intelligence in Australia. They say they're going to be the pioneers of the industry in Australia. Anthony Albanese says it's time to seize that opportunity. But there's also this partnership they've announced, which is the development of a cyber security shield, they're calling it, I guess to stop your Medibank private Optus type hacks uh, between Microsoft and the Australian Signals Director to deal with the spooks. A cyber security strategy we know from the government isn't far away. This looks like a big plank of that. Here's Anthony Albanese talking about it in Washington today. This partnership and collaboration with the Australian Signals Directorate uh, is very welcome indeed. Uh, this will improve joint capability to identify, prevent and respond to cyber threats. Uh, we know that this is having an impact on all companies. Uh, we know as well that this is about individuals and the protection of, of who they are. We need to get this right. So the president of Microsoft was here talking it up. His name's Brad Smith. Have a listen. It's not just about expanding by almost 250 per cent Microsoft's data center capacity in Australia. It's about bringing AI into these data centers with the very expensive and world leading chips. So the opportunity for Microsoft to deepen its work with the government, with the ASD, to build out a cyber shield for Australia is, in our view, not just a natural evolution of what has been a long-standing and deep relationship and partnership, but also a real step into the future. Also featuring in the event, in fact, taking centre stage, hosting the thing, was the Australian Ambassador to America, the former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd. With him, also speaking, the American Ambassador to Australia, Caroline Kennedy. So let's have a listen to what both of them had to say. It really represents the best of Australia and America working together. Your significant faith in Australians and uh, their future. Carolyn, it's just wonderful to have you as a friend, colleague and partner uh, as we seek to work both ends of this relationship together. It's great having you at the other end of the phone. Um, uh, PM um, and Brad and colleagues, uh, thank you so much uh, for being part of this significant announcement for both our countries. All right, a bit of a ghost from the past there, but he wasn't that miserable. Anthony Albanese, let's see how many times he says the word China on this trip. He's got to go visit President Xi Jinping in about a week and a half, so he doesn't want to go all China hawk here. And this was obvious from this question I asked him at the press conference. So much of this trip is about China. It's the AUKUS nuclear submarine steel. It's this cyber security announcement today. And yet Anthony Albanese doesn't want to play up the threat. He doesn't want to talk it up. Let's see how he goes with Joe Biden when they come out and speak publicly on that. Prime Minister, uh, so much of this um, trip, including this cyber security announcement, appears aimed at countering the threat of China. Do you see the irony there when you're about to visit there and for a friendly visit in almost a fortnight? No, this is aimed at strengthening Australia. Uh, this is aimed at creating good, well-paid jobs in Australia. And uh, we need to, as I've said, uh, on a number of occasions before and after the election. I want to see a future made in Australia. I want us to be more resilient. What this does is build up the resilience of our digital infrastructure, but also the resilience of our capacity of our labour as well. Uh, so this is a, a very significant announcement and a very positive one. Look, when it comes to August, the government's been talking to congressmen, as the PM said, all through the year, including in Australia. He's doing it again this week. There's growing confidence in the government that Congress won't be an obstacle to this AUKUS nuclear submarine plan in terms of regulation, legislation. This was PM earlier. The combination of the three nations uh, cooperating when it comes to our defence capacity uh, lifts the capacity of everyone. 
of all three countries. That's what this is about here. Win, win, win for Australia, the United States and the United Kingdom. And the day began with a wreath laying by the PM at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in that famous place in Washington, Arlington National Cemetery. He also visited the graves of two Australians buried there. But it was quite the event. And uh, trailing him were uh, Kevin Rudd, Therese Rain and Caroline Kennedy. Present! Present! So, Danica, there's talk of a possible, in fact, likely private dinner with Anthony Albanese and Jody Hayden and Jill Biden and Joe Biden Tuesday night here. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Australian time's a big day. It's an Oval Office visit, a joint press conference, the state dinner, all sorts of speculation about who will be there. I've said the Australian of the Year will be there, business and sports leaders will be there. I'm even hearing some Hollywood stars might be there, Danica. Oh, wow. OK, well, we'll be uh, watching that closely, but a busy couple of days ahead. Andrew Clonell live for us in Washington, D.C. Thank you for that update.